Okay, so I've just got off the phone from Xbox Customer Services and I'm not happy with, with how the conversation went. But basically, um, I've tried to sign into Xbox Live on the 8th of June and it's asked me to do um, a monetary update of Xbox Live. So I've tried to apply the update and basically it's, it's stuck at about a fifth of the update. Eventually what happens is um, it sits on the screen for about three, four minutes um, and then I get an error code. Um, so first of all I sent an email yesterday to Xbox and they asked me to give them a call which I've done today on the 9th um, and basically they've told me that the console has been um, listed has been banned on Xbox Live so I've asked them what that that means and basically they've told me that there's been some sort of hardware modification or software modification on the console itself now that was a complete shock to me um, the console has never been modified in any way it's never been opened um, I don't even know how you would do um, some sort of software modification. Um, the problem is they don't believe me um, and I've suggested that I'm even willing to pay for the console to be sent back to them um, so they can have a look at it and determine that they've obviously made a mistake because my console hasn't been modified and obviously then they could refund the money to me but they don't, they don't want to do that. Um, basically they've just told me that um, the console's banned and there's nothing I can do. Um, so they've suggested um, that I remove the hard drive um, from the Xbox so it will at least um, work in an offline mode. As you can see I've taken the hard drive off and I'm still looping with the applying the update. So in essence it's completely bricked um, my console. Um, as you can see, take a look. The guy on the phone was telling me that there's seals on the console and you can clearly see that my seal is absolutely intact. There's no marks on it. It's clear that obviously the, the case hasn't been opened. Um, he said also there was some uh, seals on the back. Uh, the only thing I can see on the back is uh, the serial number. I don't know if you can read that. It's quite blurry on this phone, unfortunately. Um, and you can clearly see there's some like tabs. I don't know if you open it like that, but assume that that's where it comes apart. They look intact. They're not damaged at all. Um, so I'm completely baffled as to why they think it's been modified. I know myself I've not done anything to it. So I don't quite understand how um, they think the console's been modified. Um, They've obviously made a mistake, but the problem is that I can't prove that they've made a mistake. So this is the only, because obviously they're not going to take the console away, and the only thing they would do is um, charge me 75 or £79, pounds, something like that, uh, for, the, for a repair to the console. But I, I don't see why I should pay that, because I've done nothing wrong. Um, but they don't want to listen. Um, there you go, look, the... The code's just come up now, um, and apparently that code means that um, the console's been banned. Um, so I'm stuck, really. I've got a complete brick of a box here, which I can't do anything with. As you can see, if I, I've taken the front cover off, so obviously you can see the, the seals, but if I power off the box, I've got a plastic little thing here to switch it off. You know, um, basically if I turn it off and then switch it back on again, um, 
you'll see that I get exactly the same thing. So I just I can't do anything with the box whatsoever. Um, I've taken the address of um, the complaints office uh, for Microsoft. So uh, tomorrow I'll be sending them um, a link to this video and also um, a letter um, to complain about the way I've been treated and the fact that I have absolutely no idea uh, why they think my console has been modified and um, I'd like some proof off them so hopefully um, there might be a positive outcome, we'll find out. Okay.